and welcome back to the channel my name is Mahesh Karia you guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through how to use Amazon Cognito using fast API I'm gonna use a fast API this is a Python framework that allows you to uh, get connected with uh, the facility that Amazon Cognito provides and if you guys are not aware of Cognito that allows you to simply authentication services uh, it is a managed authentication services that it, it's gonna provide like user sign up sign in uh, confirm your email address and a bunch of fields that you want to integrate and this kind of thing so you don't have to worry about managing users on your side so it's gonna also provide the pop-up if you want for login sign up you don't have to create a react and all that number of things uh, that will be part of it but we are gonna focusing on the APIs only and that APIs that uh, uh, commonly that we use for uh, creating generating jwt and all so that's we are gonna use with using python and the fast api so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so i'm gonna create a new uh, pool here and before we proceed you have to have, have aws cli available so simply search for aws cli and with the first link that you can download this bunch of uh, packages that is available for all the uh, server or uh, amazon for the mac os linux uh, windows and uh, for everything almost so yeah i'm gonna choose uh the email phone number and i'm gonna allow all the users to sign in uh, uh with the preferred username and uh, i'm gonna make sure that uh, username should be the case sensitive and uh, that's how we are gonna use and next uh i'm gonna go with the default setting nothing much mfa is something that allows you to have a second layer of authentication to confirm that this specific user have already uh, use the MFA and uh, I'm I, I'm not gonna use this so no MFA so uh, this is a kind of uh, app that you have to install uh, Google or Microsoft uh, if you are not familiar of so extra layer of protection I'll say so I'm gonna use the email only otherwise you can provide the phone number and it be in the background it's gonna use the SNS uh, or SES for the providing email so we don't have to worry of setting up that as well and this is pretty much it that we have to uh, focus on here you can have the address birth date and a number of other fields if you want or otherwise custom attributes for while signing up you can provide in here as well so i'm not worried of that anymore next add here role name that you have to create i am role uh, it's going to create a new role for you so i'll say user auth with with fast api this is it and uh, this mumbai make sure that in which region you are deploying it my my region is ap south one and uh, later i have to confirm my email address that i'm using it's my shkaria so from that email address it's gonna send the notification to uh, the the user and the pool name that you can say user with the auth with the fast api i'm going to use the same name for the pool name as well you can use this hosted cognitive hosted ui so you don't have to worry about creating ui so i'm not going to use this because lots of folks they don't prefer to go, go with the this ui they just want the eps that uh, the cognito uh, provides you and the app client name gonna be uh, static same uh, it's gonna generate the client token if you don't want to generate the client secret it's completely fine it's all up to you how you configure it next and we are pretty much uh, good to go i guess and create a new user pool and this is uh, what we are going to create now you just have to go here inside your app integration and you will be greeted with this thing where you will need this client app id that i'm going to take care of here i'll have to set up a new python project so for that python 3 have an am virtual env space vnv and then you can activate that virtual environment and uh deactivate accordingly so for that first what i'll do is i'll create a, a new folder i'll name it uh, fast api or something and that i'm gonna grab into here and uh, i should name something different so i'll just uh, rename it just in case we don't mess around with the naming convention uh, with cognito i'll say with cognito and that's what my folder name should ideally look like and uh, here if i go to the terminal i'll i'll just say python 3 half an am virtual env space vnv and then i'll say source activate to activate that virtual env and all we have to do is to install bunch of packages that that is uh, pip 
install uvicon of course fast api that i'll need uh, and uh, apart from this i guess uh, there are a bunch of packages that i have to be aware of fast api uvicon 3 and boto 3 so i'll start with the fast api uvicon 3 and boto 3 this is it and it's gonna install these packages that i want and later i'll quickly start with the main.py and that main.py will contain all the things that i have to start with so uh, this is pretty much straightforward all you have to do is to uh, create your fast api uh, project with the uh, region and schema and uh, uh, the bunch of common things that i'm gonna use here so let's grab this quickly so yeah i'm gonna use a fast api fast api security for auto password barrier that i want pandemic for the base model boto3 jwt and this uh, new app that i'm gonna create with the client id this is my client id that uh, that i've got from here uh, let me grab this and let me put it in here uh, let me grab this again okay i'm gonna paste this here and before you proceed make sure you have this aws cli configure so you have to configure and set up your IAM role if you haven't did this already just install that and set this up okay so we are good uh, we have this uh, boto3 client that uh, that is boto3 provides the aws services okay the region name should be uh, perfect that i have told you that you're gonna get it from here if south one and we are good to go later we'll start with one by one one by one that first you have to create a model and token class and then will go with the helper functions so i'll go next thing would be user model with the username password email uh confirm email and these things that uh confirmation code and this thing will want uh next thing is helper functions helper functions is something to create token jwt token and a number of other things that we want so helper functions will come along with creating jwt token this is how we it will take a payload it will encode the payload and provide the token later we have to decode the jwt token as well so this is how we are going to use the jwt inbuilt services to decode the token otherwise if something goes wrong into the exception it's going to throw the error uh, later endpoints are pretty much straightforward uh, the first thing is sign up uh, that i'm going to get then login and uh, onwards so I will quickly start with the first one that is sign up sign up takes a dist and the user that user will have a cognito client sign up which will take a client id which is coming from here that we have defined already which should ideally come from the env file and username password email uh, that's common things that we want and later uh, once you sign up this it will make you have to make sure you have to create another api that will confirm the email address okay confirmation is of email address is must otherwise uh, there will be anonymous users that you will uh, stuck with and which is uh, very harmful for the any production ready project that uh, you have to suppose to take care of later next is sign in uh, once you do confirmation sign in which uh, takes a cognito client dot initial auth this is confirm sign up the function names are pretty much method names are pretty much straightforward sign up that you can use which is again straightforward uh, the last thing which is uh, you have to log out if something goes wrong you have to log out and you have to create your uh, uvcon uvcon we have to run so demo page is something that uh, i'm gonna use in order to uh, first you have to make sure it depends on the o 2 schema uh, because and logout and demo page are based on the o 2 schema which is a middleware and that middleware uh, which is a part of this which will make sure that you have the right token to proceed with so this is pretty much it it's running on port 3000 so for that all i have to do is to run this project i'm going to use the python and python space main.py and here we go so yeah it's running on port 3000 without wasting any time i'll go to my history history i have uh, tried this already with the node.js i made the tutorial of node.js you can uh, go into the description and find the link for that uh, so for that i'll go with the sign up quickly so this is my sign up i'll go uh, so in the body i see this this is something that we want so i'm gonna send this 
and i'll make sure this is got created user is not confirmed yet but if i go in here if i go to uh, back and uh, uh, into here you will see into the users there should be a user which which is unconfirmed yet but as soon as you you get this into you have to confirm the user so this is the url for the confirmation that we are going to use for the body you have to pass the username and the email that you got so for that just check your email gmail.com into the spam folder likely because this is not a production ready so into the spam definitely you will have uh, the code that you have to get and you have to pass it in here just like any production ready code that you want to proceed with and okay password is missing hopefully so let's try to pass the password and that password is that i'm gonna get from here this is my password so it it will want the password along with your username uh, let's try this out and make sure you pass the right json so this is done i'm gonna go again i'm gonna see uh, by refreshing this it should get confirmed now and now the next page uh, that is sign in uh, where you make sure that you pass uh, the right username and password so you will uh, get the authentication token in here so user password auth is not allowed so, so this is what we have to enable into app integration inside here if you edit this you will see uh, this flows contains this custom auth allows password or that you can refresh token you can set up a, a according to you okay you can configure this so save changes and then only this thing will work so you got this bearer token and now this bearer token is something that we have to log into into demo page okay so make sure whenever you uh, you are trying to run the demo page pass your bearer token in here once you do that then only you will be greeted with this and at the end uh, at the time of logout definitely go to the logout and make sure to pass your bearer token into here okay the same like before this bearer that should be preceded with the bearer space and then only you will say global invalid access to the token definitely it's not uh, uh, into the use now so we are good i guess we have done almost all the things that that is required for this so i guess this is pretty much it thank you so much for your time guys have a good day i'll see you soon in next video please let me know inside the comment box if you want something from my side definitely i'll make it make it for you and don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed have a good day bye